Vortex is a prototype of rotary endothermic engine that has the Italian, European and international PCTs. The invention has two PTOs that allow both the right-handed and left-handed connection. Two covers contain all the engine components in a single body. Under the cover, a copper membrane isolates the part lubricated by the oil from the central part containing the rotors. The functioning system of the flow control elements that brush the rotor surface, minimizing the friction, allows the rotors to dry work completely. The engine develops at the same moment two complete work cycles that are opposed at every half revolution. So there are four expansions per revolution. We can divide each work cycle into nine steps. In the first step, the air coming from the turbine, marked in light blue, goes into the engine from both heads through the two pipelines. In the second step, the rotation of the two external rotors compresses the air, making bicompressed air, marked in blue. When the pressure of the bicompressed air exceeds the pressure of the air in the loading tube, the gate valve opens to let it flow. The bicompressed air is then stored in the upper chamber of the loading poppet valve. In the fourth step, as soon as the valve opens, a part of the bicompressed air escapes from the air hole between the oven base and the moving rotor nose. The bicompressed air flows along the throat of the central rotor and provides for the washing of the exhaust emissions. In the fifth step, the oven base is completely occluded by the rotor nose. This allows the accumulation of bicompressed air inside the oven. In the sixth step, as soon as the valve closes, the first injector sprays fuel in the oven and soon after the spark is triggered causing the first burst. Now the incandescent air, marked in red, is poured into the central rotor, giving it a strong push. When the lobe of the central rotor uncovers the second injector, the fuel is sprayed and it lights up due to the high temperature. The second burst greatly increases the boost pressure. In the last step, the high pressure and the incandescent air, marked in yellow, is conveyed to the exhaust pipe by the rotation of the central rotor. The pressure and hot gases are conveyed to the turbine. The engine Piaros uses three oil circuits in order to ensure a proper lubrication of the contact parts and, at the same time, in order to cool down the parts most subject to high temperatures. In the first circuit, the oil goes into the two tanks placed in the upper and lower part of the engine by crossing it transversely, so as to cool down the central rotors. In the second circuit, the oil cools down the interior of the rotors by entering on one side in the upper part and by exiting from the bottom on the opposite side, as you can see from the picture. In the third circuit, through three spray nozzles, the flow control elements are sprayed with oil so that they cool down and are lubricated. The oil continues its path and it is expelled through the exhaust pipe placed in the lower part of the cover plate.